Hi Scorpios. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing a general spread for you. Welcome back and welcome in. This is going to be general. It is good for all placements of Scorpio. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through, the crossing energies, and then what is headed in. <clears throat> I'm going to get one or two cards right now from the Psychic Tarot cards about the strongest energies around you. And uh, energies can be moved around. <clears throat> and let's see what they want to tell me. This is going to be for the strongest energies around the side of my Scorpios, please. One or two cards for the strongest energies around the sign of Scorpios. One more card, please. That this reading is for. One more card. Thank you. First card in front of me, Scorpios, is I have emotional withdrawal with heartache and loss. So I feel that this is going to be a love reading. I asked for the two strongest energies around you. I have emotional withdrawal. So you're withdrawing from something emotionally that has hurt your heart and that you feel it's been a loss. I'm going to get one or two cards from the mystical moments and then we will begin. Spirit guides, one or two cards for the sign of my Scorpios, please. Show me why emotional withdrawal and heartache and loss is here for my Scorpios. One or two cards. What do you want to show me? Why are those two cards here, please? I have the Six of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. You definitely took off from something. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is about putting a lot of work into something with your money, with your stability. I think basically you just don't want to feel anything. I really do. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. With the Six of Swords here, it is the Rite of Passage card. It's a card of just taking off to calmer seas to put a lot of work into something that's going to create some stability for you. Yep, I have the Ten of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles mastering something with the world. Telling me that it's something that's been a completion of a cycle in your life because you're about to begin something new. All right, Spirit Guys, something my Scorpios have recently been through. One shuffle that this reading is for. If this sounds like your situation that I'm about to get into here, then this is your reading. This is how I resonate with people. Show me something my Scorpios have recently been through, please. That this reading is for. For the sign of Scorpios. Something they've recently been through. Thank you. That this reading is for. For the sign of Scorpios. What else do you want to show me? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Hmm. Bottom of the deck starts the reading for me. We have big old patience showing up. Temperance, balance, blend, patience. With the Queen of Pentacles, that is the solitary queen of holding on to something you feel that you've earned. Something you've worked very hard to achieve. And then I have the Hierophant showing up. Big Taurus energy. Because I do feel that um, you have faith that there's something out there. You know, um, you may have been recently in the past holding on to something because you've worked very hard to achieve something here. And with temperance here, you've been very patient. With the Hierophant, you do believe there is something better out there for you. I have the Eight of Swords with going back and forth from some rude awakenings. And then I have the world showing up again, a completion of a cycle. You know, the world is about something that have that is over, that it's you've completed. It's it was a lesson to be learned. I have the eight of swords. This is getting trapped in your thoughts about it. You went back and forth about the situation. Maybe it was to do with your stability of a situation. Pentacles is earth. And then I have, wow, a bunch of rude awakenings, aha moments. First card in front of me though is I have the seven of wands. Yep, with the Ten of Pentacles. This is about standing up for something, battling at whatever comes towards you with the Ten of Pentacles here. It is about something to do with your maximum stability. It could have been a family life. It could have been a job. It could have been a situation that you've been standing up for. I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles in reverse is about not wanting to work with somebody anymore. 
to get to the triangle of stability with the nine of wands here this is about protection protecting yourself i have the six of pentacles and then i have the lovers i kind of knew it was going to be a love reading from emotional withdrawal and heartache and loss the six of pentacles is telling me that uh <laughs> It's usually a card about you're about to receive and with the lovers that's Gemini energy. But I kind of feel that you gave into a situation that you feel has been unbalanced. And with the lovers here, you felt it was a true connection, a karmic connection, like it's somebody you felt tied to. I'm going to look at the opposing energies. You know, it's something that's definitely hurt you, but it's been a completion. And that's what the world was telling me. It's that whatever you've been through with the Hierophant here too, it's like you have faith that there's something better out there for you. With the Queen of Pentacles here, this is the uh, Queen of holding on to something you've worked very hard to achieve to do with your stability. That's great, guys. It's the crossing energies for the sign of Scorpio. If you are not dealing with anyone or don't care to know about the crossing energies, there is a timestamp in the description box move to the incoming all right the crossing energies my Scorpios have been dealing with thank you what do you want to show me hmm. about the crossing energies my Scorpios have been dealing with anything else you want to show me about the opposing energies for the sign of Scorpio anything else thank you anything else thank you anything else thank you <laughs> Bottom of the deck, well, they have the Ten of Swords. And this person's energy, this, this hurt them. This is something that they feel has uh, really stabbed at them. And it's a completion. It's over. They, it, it's like it hurt them so much that they're just down for the count. I have it with the Five of Wands from a lot of passionate conflicts about it. With the Ace of Pentacles, a golden opportunity. <clears throat> And then with the Six of Swords, I feel that you went off and they went off to Commerce East because you both have the Six of Swords. First card on my left is the Ace of Cups and I have it with the Nine of Cups in this person's energy. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. The Ace of Cups is hoping for a new opportunity of love, Scorpios. So the opposing energies. I have the page of wands in reverse. Uh, this person has no eagerness to get something new started because I have it with Virgo energy, the hermit, being very withdrawn because they have the ten of swords. This really hurt them. And then I have the eight of swords as something that has made them literally get trapped in their thoughts about. Whatever has happened here, I feel you stood in some type of determination about holding on to what you've earned with your stability. With the Hermit here, uh, really analyzing with the Page of Wands, it's like they they have no eagerness right now because they're in this Hermit mode of just analyzing something that I feel that, I don't know why I'm saying this, I haven't seen all the cards, but I feel that they've messed up in something here. I don't know what it is. I have the King of Pentacles, big Taurus energy showing up with the Six of Cups. That's the card I said, hmm. The Six of Cups is Kindred Spirits. Somebody they had a true connection with and with the King of Pentacles here, I feel it was with somebody that um, the King of Pentacles is, can be very grounded, earthy energy about holding on to something that they believe in to do with their opinion about something. That's what I'm feeling. I have, oh boy, the tower moment with the Queen of Love. The Tower Moment is a major arcana about having just rude awakenings, a destruction of an old way about what they believed in that has been totally destroyed. And with the Queen of Cups here, I feel that they're hoping for some type of forgiveness, Scorpios. Just saying what the cards are saying, but that's what this person's feeling. If that sounds like something you've been through. This is what the person you've been dealing with is feeling. I'm going to look at what is coming towards you in the next few weeks. I'm going to get one or two cards from the mystical moments incoming for my Scorpios. Tell me about the incoming energies, spirit guides. 
for the sign of Scorpios. One or two cards. Got the incoming energies for well, the sign of Scorpios, please. Incoming energies. One more card. Hmm. The one on my lap is the chariot. And the one over to my left is the three of swords. Um, the three of swords is something that has hurt your heart. And with the chariot here, I hate to tell you the Scorpios, but someone's trying to get the will and determination to come in without a doubt. That is Cancerian energy, but I feel that somebody's hoping for forgiveness. I really do. I, I just, I feel it so deeply. And the chariot is all about getting the will and determination to come in. And it might be because somebody else had a broken heart, but I feel that with heartache and loss here, the strongest energies around you, you got somebody coming towards you. You got somebody coming towards you. It's a snail pace but they're coming in. They're just trying to get the will and determination because I did have the uh, page of wands in reverse in their energies with the hermit. Page of wands is, the hermit is just very withdrawn energy trying to figure out how to get the will and determination to get eager to get something new started. And with the queen of cups and the six of cups, the last two cards out in their energies, I feel like it's somebody who is hoping for forgiveness. Incoming though is something's coming towards you to do with you having a broken heart. All right, spirit guides, incoming energies for my beautiful Scorpios. Tell me about the incoming energies. Why is the chariot here with the three of swords for the sign of Scorpios? Tell me about the incoming energies, please. Thank you. Why is that chariot? Thank you. And the three of swords here for the, thank you. Incoming energies, please. Thank you. Under the deck, Scorpios, is I have the star. <laughs> I have it with the Nine of Cups. And I have it with the Seven of Swords. Because now they're eager to get something started. And I have it with the Wheel of Fortune. The Page of Wands is eager to get something started. And with the Seven of Swords, I feel you got someone coming towards you that will do whatever they need to do. To get you back because I got the nine of cups with wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment with the star. That is wish fulfillment all the way around the board because I have the wheel of fortune and this is telling me everything's about to play out in your favor. And I think it's from something that has hurt you. I have hope, faith, and healing with something that has been truly your wish. But I have big judgment in front of me. Big judgment. And, and this card is really... A big energy, a major arcana about you really analyzing something, judging it. Has it been serving you? And it's right next to the seven of pentacles. And do you want to put any more work into the situation? Are you going to see any fruits from your labor? I have justice with the king of pentacles showing up again. And I have it with the queen of swords in reverse. The King of Pentacles uh, was in their energy. With justice here, I feel like it's someone coming in that is not, for some reason, I haven't seen the last card yet, but with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel that it's someone who is not going to be telling you the whole truth because I feel that they want to try to even the scales with you. And the last card out is the Five of Cups in reverse. And this is telling me that um, you're going to come out of being in this energy of heartache, loss, heartache and loss. And um, with the Three of Swords here in the Chariot, you got something coming towards you, I feel, to help you heal. And it's all going to change out in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. But you're going to be judging the situation. Do I want to put any more work into this? Is it going to actually pay out for me? Is it going to benefit me? Because I have the King of Pentacles. This is the King of Earth, Taurus energy, right next to justice. The scales shall be balanced. The truth shall be spoken. Everything shall be fair. But I have it with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And I feel this is someone else's energy saying or doing whatever it takes to get you back 
and I have the Five of Cups in reverse because I feel it's someone who wants to come out of heartache and loss and it could be you and it could be them. So what I feel from this is you got something coming in towards you. You know, it could be from somebody else who has a broken heart too. You know, I mean, the Three of Swords with the Chariot and in this deck, it's the Snail Chariot moving at a very slow pace with the King of Pentacles here that is very slow moving energy. It's Earth energy about the scales being balanced. Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who I feel is not going to speak the truth, say whatever it takes to say to get you to take them back. And with the Five of Cups in reverse, I feel that it's because someone wants to come out of feeling sad about a love situation. That's what I have for you, but I am going to get one or two cards from my spirit guides. From the Power Tarot cards, what do you want to tell my beautiful Scorpios? Today, Spirit Guides, one or two messages for my Scorpios about this reading today, please. What do you want to tell my beautiful Scorpios about this reading today, please? One more card. Thank you. I have one to the right and one to the left. I guess I'll read the one to the right first. You guys got two aces. First, I have the ace of Ariel. It's your lucky day, Scorpios. New resources of money, time, or support from someone. A change in job or promotion. Something's about to change. You have the Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you. Next card to my left is the Ace of Raphael. A positive new emotional experience. Fulfilling romantic relationships. Deep and lasting spiritual insights. So I think basically what this is saying to me is you need to judge a situation incoming. Someone's coming in. I, I, I know they are. Can you put more work into something? Is it going to grow? If not, you need to release it to birth something new. You know, um, with justice here, the scales will be balanced. The truth will be spoken and everything will play out in your favor. And I have it with the king of pentacles, the king of earth, the king of stability. This is what I have for you today, Scorpios. If it resonated and you enjoyed it, please remember to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you are not. Thank you for everyone who has supported my channel. You guys have an amazing day, beautiful holiday season, and many blessings to everyone. Thank you.